So, maybe you're in an auction league instead of a traditional draft league. Great, auction leagues are a blast. Rotowire can suggest an auction budget for every player based on the specific settings of your league. Let me show you how. So here we are in the basketball section of Rotowire. We're going to go to Draft Kit, and then we're going to choose the Auction Values option. Now, you can go a few different routes here. If you've entered your league already through the My Leagues option, I've got two leagues entered already, you can just select that league and it'll default to the settings of the league you already entered. But for this video, let's pretend we're starting anew and we'll enter custom scoring. So I'm going to choose custom scoring. First you gotta decide what sort of uh, league this is. Is this a head-to-head -head, uh, league where you play uh, your opponent weekly or is this a roto league? particular league uh, I want results for now is a rotisserie league, so I picked Roto. Also, well, who's our provider? That helps with some of the defaults. And in this case, CBS Sports hosts our Keeper League. Now, uh, I need to confirm the settings for this CBS League so that we can get the most specific auction value recommendations as possible based on the rules of our league. Well, this league is eight categories and does not have turnovers, so I want to check that. Also, the budget we're working with in this league is $160, not the usual $200. There are 12 teams in this league. Um, it does not get specific on point guard or shooting guard. It's five guards, five forwards, two centers, and two utility spots. Now, position eligibility is a key factor in deciding proper auction values. If you have a one-center league or a two-center league, uh, that can drastically alter the auction values Rotowire suggests for players that are eligible at center. Also, by telling us the right provider of who's hosting your league, we then can apply the position eligibility rules of that league. So this is CBS, two centers, two utility, five forwards, five guards. Great. Oh, and yes, this league has six bench players. So now I want to generate auction values. And as I scroll down, here they are. We've got James Harden as the most valuable player. Where we suggest spending $45 or up to $45 in the auction for Harden. And you can see so forth, it keeps working that way for various players. You can sort these results by position or by category. And something I like to do is I prefer to export all this content into a spreadsheet. You can also do it into a PDF or a CSV file. I export it into an Excel sheet so that I can make my own adjustments and my own notes. You'll also see that we do have some players in negative value. Now we know you can't bid negative dollars, but uh, in relation to Harden, James Harden being $45 in value, other players will have negative values. So frankly, that means anyone who's negative that you're interested in grabbing, you probably should only draft after all your money is spent. Okay, and that's how our auction values uh, for upcoming fantasy NBA auctions works. I hope this was helpful.